Right, so good evening folks and welcome back to another episode. This episode is part two. So in part two with Down the Beach, we're gonna try and target smooth hounds using the crab that we sourced from video one, which if you haven't seen yet, go back and watch it before you watch this video. It'll make a lot more sense as to what we're doing. So I've come down today to my favorite beach at the moment, which is the Long Beach uh, on Langley Point in Eastbourne. Uh, now we're pretty early in the, uh, in the smooth hound run this year. Um, so we're just gonna give it a go and see what happens really. I hope for the best. I'm down with Cliff. Cliff's already been fishing for a while. Um, and we're gonna throw some baits out using, I've got crab and squid and just see what happens through the night. And I'll show you, you know, how I'm baiting up and things like that. And hopefully you'll, you'll be able to get something from it. And maybe we'll catch a smooth out. Right, and so let's have a look around and see what's going on. Right, so we're back down at the Long Beach. It is currently the turn of the tide. So we're fishing low tide up. Um, I'm not sure what time we're going to fish it till, maybe till the top of the tide, who knows. We'll see how we get on. Cliff's already set up over there. Just setting up his rod, I'm just setting up my rod now. Um, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty nice out there. Will the fish be here, who knows. We're fishing uh, on a northeasterly wind, so I don't know. There's been a lot of, uh, lot of bird activity out there. It's a nice big rolling wave, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab my crab and just throw it in those breaking waves and, uh, and see what's about. Right, and let's have a look at the bait we got. Right, so baits wise tonight, we've got some nice bits of squid in there. There we go. And then we've got the crabs that we sourced from the session that we were picking the other day, and that's what we're going to be using for our bait tonight. Squid and crabs, let's give it a go. Loads of crabs in there. We'll see how we get on. Wish me luck. Right, so rigs wise tonight, I've gone with a red grip leg. It's pretty windy today. Um, and I'm just using a really, really simple pulley rig using the Gemini bead. And on the other end, using a 2 0 Coxon wheel hook there. Right, so for baiting up, what we're going to do is we're just going to grab our hook. We're going to grab one of our crabs. So this one's passed its, uh, its date. We'll just grab this crab here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the middle claw there. We remove the middle claw there. I'm just going to take the hook and place the hook straight through the socket like that and I'm going to push the hook through the middle of the crab like that. There we go. I'm going to take the crab's legs this side and I'm going to bind that up using my bait elastic which I'm going to do now. All right, and all I'm going to do is just whip the legs on tight up this end So the legs act like an anchor, and what we're doing is we're just whipping, I'm going to move the box out of the way so you guys can see, we're just whipping the legs up, shank of the hook, just to hold the crab in place. There we go. I mean ideally, pee the crabs are the bait that everyone goes crazy for, or pee the spider crabs are even better. I'm literally just going to... Elastic this on and then pull pull the legs down so you make sure the hook's nice and proud and that is my bait there that I'm gonna throw out. So we got the crowd that we picked, all the legs are whipped up just to hold that on top of the hook. And then the bottom bit there, the nice sharp point is nice and exposed. And uh, and away we go. Right, let's get a bait cast out. Right, so rule number one with fishing for big fish in general, or smooth hounds, definitely smooth hounds, is that we, we're gonna back the drag off. So if the fish does take, take the bait, it can run with the line nice and freely. And we don't lose our expensive fishing gear. So that's rule number one. Right, so we're heading into darkness. Uh, a couple of little wiggles, nothing solid, no solid takes or anything like that. Cliff's rod remains over there, he's getting a couple of bites on the lugworm. So uh, yeah, I think we're in for the long haul. 
we're in for the long haul. Gonna alternate between crab and squid and uh, just see how it plays out. Right folks, there's not much to report at the minute. Most of the action seems to be happening over on cliffside uh, with the lug baits and the squid baits as well. I'm literally sticking to crab, going all out on the crab and just seeing, uh, you know, what happens really. I've had a couple of nice knocks that have turned into nothing. Uh, and that's about it really, to be fair. I think I've thrown about five or six crabs out now. We're about an hour and a half into the session. The tide is coming up. Uh, so I'll let you know if anything else changes, but at the moment, nothing much is happening. Is it to do with the northeast wind? Who knows? Right guys, so the crab's coming back completely untouched. Just the same as what we did when we went up. Nothing at all. So we're now on to squid for the last part of the session and see if we get any hits on the squid. Right, so we tried the crab. Now it's time to go for the squid. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see what happens with the squid then. We're on the last cast now. We've put another squid out. Will it happen tonight? I don't think so. But we'll hold our fingers crossed and see what the last cast brings us. Hopefully a nice fish. Right, guys, so that is it for another week's session. Unfortunately, tonight the fishing gods weren't in our favour. And we didn't catch what we come down for. But hey, that sometimes that's what it is. Uh, we definitely come out here and give it a good go. And um, I think part three, I think we'll leave for a couple of weeks and then get back out again and give it another go and see if we can try and catch that smooth animal we're looking for. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.